Hello everyone, this is Char Disparity and welcome to Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog CD. It's been a couple of years since I last uploaded anything to this channel, so I thought I would try giving it a little reboot now that I'm a bit more confident in my talking and improvisation skills. This game was released in 1993, and... This is the American version, which features music by Spencer Nilsson, and I am totally not just reading off of the Wikipedia article. For whatever reason, when it was localized for Amer America, they changed the soundtrack from the Japanese and European versions. And there's been many debates as to which version is better, but I decided I would start off with this one since it's what I grew up with playing this game on my old IBM PC back in, like, 98, I believe. Granted, I did also have a Sega CD, but I didn't get much use out of it since the only game I owned for it was Jurassic Park, which was not a very good game, to be brutally honest. Well, to be more honest, it was complete garbage. But, uh, I'm no game designer, so uh, who am I to judge? I'm being for Jesus, of course, I'm gonna judge the hell out of it. It was crap. Now we're already onto the second act. The, as you can probably tell, the reason that I chose this game for my grand return is because I am quite mm, decent at this game, and I am capable of beating it in under an hour. My best time being 45 minutes. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to top that for this Let's Play run, but I should be able to get through the entire game in, hmm, I'd say under six videos. Seems like a fair, fair assumption. And that is the end of Act 2. Got through it in under a minute. I'd say that is a, a, an accomplishment. And now we see what sets this game apart from the other games. This game has different versions of each stage for the past and future. In this case, this is the bad variation of the future. You can tell because the soundtrack is slightly darker and all the plant life seems to be replaced with robotics. Here's the first boss, which is very easy because you can exploit um, the boss's appearance by going behind it and hitting it from behind, and Robotnik will have no chance to damage you. I don't know if that was intentional or if that was an oversight, but it lets you get through this boss battle much faster than you would usually. And that is the end of the first zone, which took less than four minutes. I am quite pleased with that time. Which brings us to the second zone, Collision Chaos. Uh, not my favorite, but I do appreciate the visuals and soundtrack for this. As you can see, this was the very first appearance of both Metal Sonic and Amy Rose. Which, although seemingly more modern characters, were actually around longer than even Knuckles was, as Sonic 3 was released in 94, and this was released in 93. <laughs> This stage is very reminiscent of... I just got hit by spikes there, don't mind that. That was just a demonstration of what happens when you get hit by spikes. Of course, I am what you young people would call NLG Pro, and 
I don't make mistakes on accident. I only do them to show up. Ahem. <laughs> anyway. This stage is quite reminiscent of the Spring Yard Zone from the original Sonic the Hedgehog. Which... was one of my least favorite zones from that game, honestly. And before you ask, I will not be doing a playthrough of the original Sonic the Hedgehog, as I've never actually beaten the first Sonic the Hedgehog without cheating. Yeah, I know it's kind of sad, but it's true. I'm not too good with games. I don't have a save feature of some sort. But that's the end of the first zone. Uh, I'm used, so used to calling them acts. I guess they're called zones in this one. Here's a little chance for the viewers to participate in the future of the series. If you would like me to continue playing the American version and using this soundtrack, then let me know in the comments. If you would prefer me to switch to the Japanese soundtrack, then let me know there. If, uh, whichever soundtrack gets the most thumbs up, or votes rather, I will be using for the rest of the series because I don't want to switch through different realms. So I am using an emulator other than this. As you could probably tell by the frame rate and those squares in the corner. I don't... no longer have my Sega CD and I don't have a capture card, so... This is my only option. Here's another demonstration of the time-traveling mechanic. When you are able, when you go past the signpost and you're able to reach a certain speed, perhaps 88 miles per hour, you will go through time and enter the alternate versions of the stage. This is what just happened here. Yet again, we are in the bad future. Probably won't be seeing much of the good feature in this run because that requires finding two hidden items in the alternate time zones and destroying them. And that takes up quite a bit of time that and I don't actually know where they are. But that butterfly moth thing is really getting on my nerves. So it's time to pop things. Popping things is quite cathartic, wouldn't you say? Probably not, because cathartic is just a long word to make everybody sound smarter than they really are. Yeah, I admit I'm a bit pretentious. Here's where the music loops. And that is the end of the second zone of the stage, which means up next will be the boss battle. My least favorite boss battle in the entire game. Because this one is... Mm, well, there is some skill involved, but it's partially left up to chance. You just... you have to basically have to go into a giant pinball machine and just hope that you get taken towards the top of the screen where you can attack Robotnik. Here you can get a better listen of the boss theme, which is completely terrifying and used to give me nightmares as a child. I would actually say it's probably the most disturbing boss theme of all time. Even beating out Gygases. That's a... Uh, Gygus from Earthbound, by the way. I don't know if there's any other Gygus, but just covering my tracks just in case. I actually didn't do too badly on the boss here. I made it another minute, got an extra life. I consider that... I consider that a small victory. And since that is two stages all the way through, and we are approaching the YouTube time limit, I will end this video here. 
at one of my favorite stages. So until next time, this has been Char Disparity playing a Sonic CD, and I hope you enjoyed watching it. <laughs>